freedom is being able to live a life of service, um, to experience a, a peace and a joy. Like everything outside of me doesn't create peace and joy and, and happiness. It's the uh, opportunity to be of service and help others, uh, share with them what I've learned, share with them what I have, and um, encourage them to want to live a better life. My name is Johnny Howe, also known as Coach Johnny, uh, one of the coaches for getting out by going in. So one thing that I do for Gogi is I'm the mailroom manager. Uh, a week out of getting out of prison, I was offered the opportunity to start answering the mail for the mailroom, and I've been doing that for three years. The Gogi mailroom is a sanctuary. Um, not everybody is allowed just to come work in the Gogi mailroom. Um, you know, it's a place where I'm doing service. It's a place where I experience freedom, where I experience peace, um, where I know I'm doing God's work. Um, so it's a place that I look forward to coming every week. And um, it's an opportunity to give back. Um, I know that a lot of the students send in mail and sometimes they uh, may not get responses. Like I said, I was in prison and there was months that would go by and I wouldn't get a response. I don't want anybody to experience that. I want someone to know that someone cares. And there's a saying that says, um, nobody cares how much you know unless they know how much you care. And I want them to know that Gogi cares. Hi, I'm Cynthia Bracamonte, and I'm married to Johnny Howe. We've known each other since high school. Uh, Johnny was always up to no good. He was riding around on a bicycle, never in class. From the beginning when I met Johnny, I really liked him, but we didn't date or anything like that. And then he went to prison, and I just kind of moved on with my life. I was in prison for 20 years, and um, I ended up going to the Board of Prison hearings to possibly be found suitable. And uh, when I walked out of that room, I walked out with a 15-year denial. For three years, I visited Johnny while he was in prison. I was so in love with Johnny. I knew I wanted to marry Johnny, and I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with Johnny. But Johnny was behind a wall that I could only go visit every so often. And once I left there, I left Johnny there. You know, I was committing crimes in prison. I was uh, using drugs and alcohol. Um, he was always drunk. He just, he was not ready to come out. It wasn't until I seen somebody else uh, make a change in their life, uh, somebody get involved with Gogi and somebody being of service to other people. Gogi stands for getting out by going in. And it's, um, it's a culture, it's a lifestyle. So the Gogi Life Tools are 12 opportunities to make better decisions. Uh, consists of things like bossing my brain. Uh, which is a reminder that I'm in charge of my thinking. Um, something like belly breathing, which is a basic tool you have wherever you go. Uh, other tools like ultimate freedom. We talk about being able to be free wherever you're at. I was telling people I wasn't getting high or drinking anymore, and um, I was gonna start getting more committed to the groups that I was a part of, and that's what I did. It was so funny, when I went to go see Johnny, the guard told me, oh, you're here to see how? And I said, yeah, and he said, well, you got the good how now. During that time, I did a lot of work, and Gogi was a big part of it. While he was in prison, he would tell me that he wanted to do the Gogi books. Once he was out, he told me, Cynthia, I still want to work for Gogi, and I want to work for Gogi on my days off. He would tell me, do you want to help out a little bit? You know? I said, yeah, sure. So I would help out and do put, print out the postcards, and let them know that we were getting their mail. I think for me, it's about seeing the happy faces on the guys when we go visit them in prison. Seeing how grateful they are that they're learning something new, they're getting certificates, they're getting report cards, somebody cares. Our purpose now as a, as a married couple is to help other people, uh, other couples, other people, guys, girls, whoever. Just an opportunity to grow together and give back together. We got married in prison without any of our family knowing and um, I ended up getting out a couple years after that, and then we built a life. I don't think a lot of people thought Johnny would ever get out. And you know, he's like, Johnny is what a lot of people want to be. They want to get out, they want to be free. 
They want to have, you know, their little place to live and be happy, and they see that in him. I was given this gift, and I want to give it back to other people. I want to uh, encourage people and, and lift people up and build them so that they can be the best person they want to be. If there's one lesson you can learn from Johnny, is never judge a book by its cover. My parents thought, oh, you married an inmate, Cynthia. They were so angry at me. And then they got to meet him, and my dad tells me, any chance he gets, God, Cynthia, you're so lucky. Johnny's such a great man. And I feel so ashamed that I misjudged him. My dad tells me that all the time. People, you know, believe just because someone's an inmate, they can't come out and better themselves. And I have proof, I live with proof that you can be a way better person, you know, even in jail, you can be a way better person than a lot of people out here. That's what people should learn from Johnny. My name is Coach Johnny, and my promise to you is that if you cast a vision and use the Gogi Life tools to bring the net to shore, you'll be happy with what you end up with. My name is Coach Johnny, and I'm a face of Gogi.